History just hours away from being made. It's Mueller time, and it's going to be a long day for the former Marine. The special counsel will testify before two House committees, starting here in the Judiciary Committee room behind me. Let me show you how it's going to go first. At 8.30, that is when the doors open, and you will have a five-minute opening statement from the chairman, Democrat Jerry Nadler. That will be followed by a five-minute opening statement by ranking member Doug Collins. Then they'll swear special counsel Mueller in. He'll deliver his opening opening statement and the questions will begin. There's going to be a lot of questions. There's 41 members on this committee. Alongside Mueller will be his uh, longtime attorney and aide, Aaron Zebley, who was added at, uh, at the request of Mueller at the last minute. You can see from the president's tweet, though, he did not approve. Here's what he said. So Robert Mueller has now asked for his longtime Never Trumper lawyer to sit beside him and help with the answers. What's this all about? His lawyer represented the basement server guy who got off free in the crooked Hillary case. This should not be allowed. Rigged witch hunt. Now, after appearing here, Mueller heads with Zebley to the Intelligence Committee, where that will be expected to start at noon. Now, Chairman Adam Schiff is upset about that DOJ letter advising Mueller to stick strictly to what's in his report. Here's what Chairman Schiff wrote to Mueller about that guidance, saying that the letter attempts to unduly uh, circumscribe your testimony and represents yet another attempt by the Trump administration to obstruct the authorized oversight activity. But yesterday, Attorney General William Barr said that it was Mueller that requested the boundaries to be outlined. Listen. They asked us for guidance in writing uh, to, uh, to explain uh, or to tell them what our position was. So we responded in writing. The department sent the guidance they had requested. So Mueller actually requested? Yes. Now, when this gets going in those doors right behind me, look for Chairman Nadler to set the tone on what Democrats are looking for. Listen to this. The president and the attorney general have systematically lied to the American people about what was in that uh, report. Uh, no, they've said no obstruction, no collusion. He was totally exonerated. All of those three statements are not true. It's important that the American people understand what was in that report, and then we'll go from there. So it's going to be two committees for Mueller, uh, roughly about five hours or so. It's going to be a long day. And as you mentioned, Heather, already you've got people from the public lining up in the hallways, a ton of media. We're over four hours away, but it's certainly uh, a lot of uh, energy here in the hallways. Heather? Man, unbelievable. So you're not alone at 4 o'clock in the morning, finally. <laughs> Thank you so much, Griff. <laughs> going to be a long day, five hours. Wow. Thanks.